Steve? Yes. I'm going to do an exam on you. Have you ever done anything like this before? No, first time. Have you had a doctor the last six months? Uh, no, I don't have a doctor. I read about your head injury. Like, were you really in a coma for a month? Yes. And you were in hospital for three and a half months? Correct. I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk, or nothing. And what happened? I got stabbed in home invasion. I almost died. I got stabbed February 13th of last year. February the 13th? Yes. That was a Friday? Yes. Are you joking me? No, I'm not. And uh, that was the day when the film crew finished filming. What film crew? They were doing a documentary on me. And after the release a year ago, it came in on one in North America. Did you fall on your head or did you get whacked? I got beaten up. With? I don't know. I was in a coma when they beat me. They also beat my girlfriend up too. They made her watch as they beat me up. So she's the main witness. I left my wife for her. It was a big thing because she had a boyfriend too, and there's quite a few pissed off people. You get the fuck out of here! You rock and rock! Get out of here! This caused a lot of fucking bullshit right here. Hit me again, motherfucker! Hit me again! It still does. I'll fucking smash you the fuck out. You say you're not addicted to drugs? No. When did you last use crystal meth? Uh, a couple of weeks ago, a week ago. And are they part of the reason why your life hasn't gone the way you wanted it to go? I have no idea. I was very famous, and somewhere I lost my way. Like 30 years, I lost 30 years of my life. After I stabbed and being in a coma and all that, I know I had to make a change. And I think the number one thing is to get the fuck out of Surrey. You know, everyone's the best for themselves. I do want help. And I need it now.